All right, Mr. Teleferro, how's everybody doing out there? We're actually going to focus on two Chicago artists in this video. If you have not done so, though, real quick, real quick, please follow your boy on Facebook. I need about 10,000 of you guys to join me on Facebook. So if you're not doing anything, please pull your phone out real quick, real quick, and type in Miss Teleferro, it's Miss Teleferro, whatever, and find me on Facebook and just like my page, follow my page. That genuinely would mean the world to me. If, if you like the news that I give you, I'm going to be giving you news in a different way on Facebook. So please, your support will be greatly appreciated on that platform, just like here on YouTube. It is very appreciated. Now, we're going to get into two Chicago artists. One's a part of the drill rap era, and the other one allegedly likes to try to drill underage women. Okay, I probably shouldn't have said that. Anywho, let's start with that. Oh, Y'all haven't heard me say this one in a long time. That nasty man in Chicago is back in the news. Robert Kelly, a.k.a. on this platform, we call him. That nasty man in Chicago is back at it again. And trust me, it is not good news if you are a fan of Robert. All right? Earlier today, and this is Thursday, just for clarity, Robert was charged with 11 additional felony counts of sexual abuse some of these charges i think four of them carry a maximum sentence of 30 years in prison just to break down what the new charges are uh it's four counts of aggravated criminal sex assault three counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse of a victim between the ages of 13 and 16 two counts of criminal sex assault by force and two counts of aggravated criminal sex abuse Again, that's according to the court records. If you remember back in February, Robert Kelly was charged with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sex abuse. He was accused of abusing four women, three of those women who were underage at the time of the alleged, uh, uh, these events that took place or allegedly took place. So that's 21 charges that Robert Kelly will be dealing with in court in the near future. As a matter of fact, he's due back in court to address these new charges next Thursday. If you remember, Robert Kelly has been out on bond since February 25th when uh, uh, some chick, a Chicago chick, posted his $100,000 bond, which was, again, 10% of the $1 million bond that the judge set in this case. So Robert's been out since then. Uh, According to the new court filing, the first eight counts of these new charges are from encounters that allegedly happened between January 1st and January 31st of 2010. And the other three pertain to alleged encounters that happened between May 1st, 2009 and January 31st, 2010. And it looks like all of these charges, all of these new charges that Robert got today are from one victim in the documents it actually is initialed by jp so one could assume that the person that was involved in these 11 new charges the victim would be geronda price who was a minor and she was present she told her story in the surviving r kelly documentary again i can't confirm that but one could assume that all these charges because in the court document it says jp initial by him so i'm guessing this is my guess here educated guess that all these charges are around one of the women that did step up in the surviving r kelly documentary her, her name was geronda pace i said price her name was geronda pace now i did notice that a few of these new charges are categorized under a much more serious class they're they're under this class x felony which is pretty much one of the most serious crimes you could commit in illinois it's right under murder right so pretty much if you under this class x felony you're almost certainly going to do some type of time right or uh, in a lot of time at that now r kelly's attorney did come out and make a statement i'll summarize here pretty much r kelly's uh, attorney was like we'll deal with the charges and he pretty much summed it up as overkill right like he, these charges are still stemming from the same incidents that he was a R. Kelly has already been accused of, just more additional charges. And I think his attorney is looking at it like, you know, if we're gonna beat this thing, whether it's 10 charges, 20 charges, 40 charges, if we're gonna get off, we probably were gonna beat all these charges anyway. I mean, think about it, right? If R. Kelly is 
convicted of maybe three or four of these charges. He's probably going to do the rest of his life, that's a guess, in prison anyway, to be honest with you. So if he's going to get off, he probably was going to get off on no matter how many charges he had. I think that's how R. Kelly's attorney is looking at it. He has a fight on his hands as R. Kelly now has 11 additional charges all revolving around being a nasty old man with women that were underage. Wow. Anywho, let's move on. This story kind of shocked me a little bit. Now, this is a Chicago rapper. Goes by the name of Lil Durk. I've actually interviewed Lil Durk once. I interviewed him like two years ago. Really good dude to me. You know, he was super cool. Uh, very mannerable. He made me feel old. I guess I'm older than Lil Durk. That's different for me to be interviewing artists that I'm older than. But dude was like really mannerable to me. And I'm like, nigga, we about the same age. Stop being so nice. Like, you're from Chicago, my nigga. You can't be that nice. Anywho, uh, Lil Durk. I believe he was in Atlanta, Georgia, when this whatever situation allegedly happened. But he made this message on his Instagram account yesterday, on Wednesday, and we knew he was going to jail for something. We just didn't know what that something was until today. He said, I'm turning myself in tomorrow. And he has done that. According to a police report in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, police wanted to bring Dirk in for five felony charges, including criminal intent to commit a murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during a uh, commission of a felony, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and an another charge of associating with a criminal street gang to participate in a crime. What the story is, uh, officers responded to reports of a person being shot at 545 in the morning on February 5th at a restaurant called the varsity where they they found a dude suffering from a gunshot wound man police say they recovered 13 shell casings from a rifle and a pistol at the scene and they found a firearm uh the shooting victim was rushed to the hospital he went through surgery and guess what ladies and gentlemen somehow some way he survived all right cops say they spoke to two witnesses and were told that the victim appeared to be in a verbal dispute with an unknown black male before the shooting and police saying that they have reviewed the surveillance footage and they're still investigating now we don't know how little dirt ties in uh, it looks like police believe some form of fashion little dirt was involved in this shooting obviously with the, the felonies that he has been charged with or at least wanted on right it looks like the police are prepared to charge little dirt with some of these crimes the investigation is ongoing i don't have any more details for you guys other than that i don't know i have no idea what the hell happened i wasn't there and if i was there i wouldn't say shit any damn way uh but it looks like the police do got some witnesses that are already around the scene talking we'll see how this pans out for little dirk i wish him the best little dirk seemed like a cool dude man but this is some serious shit he got hit with i, I just don't understand like yo is moving your family i think people are getting comfortable i just was sending this psa out to not just rappers but people in general because we got people within our community that's starting to make some money now and i'm happy for everybody but can we just put everything in perspective a little bit and just calm down a little bit and realize like a lot of you dudes are the breadwinners not just for yourself but for your homies your families like there are generations of wealth contingent on you and your actions like you are the talent you the meal ticket you the way out and i just want everybody to calm down look i know we people get into altercations and sometimes emotions get the best of us but we all got to do a better job of we just got to try right i know this shit's tough but we got to find ways to do a better job of compartmentalizing situations and being like you know what man this shit ain't worth it i'm too important to my family to get tied up in some bullshit and, and hopefully we can kind of see the bigger picture because, you know, it's too many artists we're seeing, too many black people getting involved in altercations right now. And we got successful black people being involved in altercations, which uh, is really not a good sign. If, if success and the fact that you are very important to your family, your kids and everybody, if that can't stop you from making a bad decision, shit, what, what will? <laughs> I thank you guys so much for your time, love, support. Don't take it for granted. Man, oh man, lots going on in the world, man, and uh, yeah, I'm out. 
I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.